What's going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys some more Spin Tires mods. Now, in this video I have a couple of mods that I guess you could say were, are a little bit, um, maybe understated. Um, because first off we're going to be using this Nissan Patrol, um, competition truck. And it's a really interesting mod, it's a well done mod, it was converted over from another game called... I'm forgetting what it's called, it's listed actually on the other side here, called... Off-Road Drive, and I've actually looked up a couple videos of that. It looks kind of cool. I've never played it, but um, this truck was actually converted over from this game, and it looks really good. Um, whoever converted it, uh, bleh, converted it over, which you can uh, see by um, down going to the download link, um, which I'll have in the description below. I, yes, I will remember to put it in this time, but um, uh, you can find out who made it and everything, and they did a great job with it. I mean, the textures look great. Um, the tire textures look great. Um, the mud textures when mud actually gets on it. Um, the whole, basically the whole package of this truck looks great. Now, the other mod that I have is a Mercedes-Benz Actros 8x8, which I will show you guys later on in the video, but, uh, first off, we're gonna go ahead and do a little, um, test run in this patrol. Now, the original patrol was a, was a, um, an SUV that I liked very much. I liked it very much when I first tested it, and we are actually, we are literally caught on a tree. <laughs> we are caught on a tree, uh, when we're not even, like, 30 seconds into the test drive, so... Let's go ahead and snap it out of that. <laughs> snap out of it. Back it up just a little bit and try not to get stuck on another tree. <laughs> this the only thing that I'm not a fan of with this with this truck is it likes to do that. It likes to roll over. Um, it's it's a very very top heavy truck for some reason. It's just I don't know if it's the suspension like just the way that it's it's sprung or what, but it's very. Um, very, very easy to roll over. It's very easy to roll over in this truck. Um, it's not like... Not, if you're expecting it to be something like that that Jeep Grand Cherokee or something, or the um, or the lifted... Um, oh, God, what was it? The GMC Sierra 2500. It's not like that. It's It doesn't have a ton of... Uh, it doesn't have a ton of suspension travel. I mean, it has, has some. It definitely has plenty for normal off-roading. But if you're going to be doing something... That is gonna uh, th that's gonna require a lot of suspension travel. This isn't really the best truck for that. It, it, it tends to roll over and it tends to be kind of bouncy. Um, I like I said before, I don't really prefer the way that this truck is sprung. Uh, let's actually head this way because I've never been this way before. But um, like I said before, I don't really like the way this truck is sprung. I don't really like the way the springs are set up. But I mean, you guys, it depends on what your preferences are for the way you like um, the springs to be set up on your uh, on your off roaders. But for me, I would prefer something with a little bit more lift and a little bit more suspension travel uh, in the springs themselves. And I have no idea. Whoa! I had no idea there was an actual uh, there was an actual road branching off of this spot because I know where we are now, but I had no idea that anything branched off of this uh, off the off of this spot. In fact, I'm gonna turn around because there's another spot that I kind of want to show you guys that I haven't that, that another spot that I kind of want to show you guys that I've never actually showed in a video before. I actually just found it like. Oh, maybe like five minutes ago before starting, uh, before, um, before pressing the record button for Fraps, I found this spot and I was like, whoa, this is legit. I've got to show, I've got to show my subscribers this because it's actually a really cool spot and I never actually knew it was there because they kind of hit it. They kind of hit it when they were, uh, when they designed this map because it's a little bit, I guess you could say tucked back in a really, I don't know, it's, it's, you wouldn't think that a road was here. It's just kind of an opening with grass. It's just kind of an opening with grass and then... You see this really overgrown road. It's, it's just got a bunch of grass on it. It looks like it, it. It just looks like a road that hasn't been cleared or maintained in a really, really long time. The other roads look pretty well maintained. And as you can see, we can have, we, we got the base of a really freaking big tree. And I'm, I'm kind of sad that I can't see, like, the, the whole tree. Because I feel like it would be epic if I could see it. I mean, it looks like it's huge. It's probably the tallest tree on the map. But... As of now, all you can see is the base, which is kind of, I don't know, it kind of sucks that you can only see the base, but hey, whatever. Um, now, the other cool part about this road is that, aside from it being really overgrown and just really, uh, really back in the woods, it really gives you the impression that you're really doing some serious exploring. I mean, you can take a truck like this, or, I mean, better yet, an ex like a specific exploration truck back here, and it really feels like you're doing an exploration mission. And then it opens up into kind of this little clearing area, and then... Once it opens up, you get access to this road, yeah, but up to the left, you also get another road that's kind of hidden because it's kind of off to the side, and it's also, the entrance is just really overgrown, and then, then, then you see the road after that, and 
this is probably the longest hill, uh, the, well, the longest straight hill in the game. At, not in the game, why did I say the game? Uh, the map. And the end of it is super steep. The end of it is actually really damn steep. And you really have to be on the power. Otherwise, it, it tends to actually bog down trucks. And I might actually end up bringing some semis here if I can fit them back that really, uh, that really twisty bit. Because fitting them over that top part is going to be really hard because it's so sharp. Um, now, I am not going to try and take... Well, you know what? I was about to say I'm not going to try and take this out here because it looks really, really hard. And yes, that is my chair squeaking. Um, my chair is very squeaky. I got this, like, old office chair um, that I sit in when I record and it's super squeaky. But let's actually... You know what? You know what? I'm going to go on an adventure with this thing. I'm going to try to take it out. And it's already bogged down at the first boulder. <laughs> it's already bogged down at the first boulder. Come on, then. Power! Yes! Got mud and rocks to deal with. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, yep, see? See? Told you. <laughs> now, that's what happens. It's, it's a very, um, I guess you could say, unruly suspension setup. Now, to move on to the Actros, let me just go ahead and switch to it real quick. Now, it starts off as a bear chassis. It starts off as a bear chassis, and you can see actually the MAZ back there. And it has also has four-wheel steering in the front, which actually gives it a really, really good turning circle. It has a really nice turning circle, and you never are bogged down in corners, even when you're using the diff lock, which is nice to have. Now, it spawns in as a bear chassis, and you can add in um, extras. Let me just scroll down. There you go. Actress, you have three different, uh, three different add-ons. You have the dumper. The dumper with gravel in it and you have the mixer now i've only actually used the empty dumper so let me actually spawn let me spawn the mixer actually and just see what that looks like now you kind of have to position it so it's sort of on top of the truck itself and if you can get the spot right then you can spawn it in and then as soon as it spawns in just press t and then it'll uh and then it'll just kind of suck it into place like it'll screw it into place suck it into place whatever um kind of magnetize it into place and then you just set off, and it's a really cool looking truck. It's, it's got some extra sound, um, sounds that come with it, but it's nice to have, I guess you could say, a more construction-oriented truck in spin tires, because this Actros is really construction-oriented with the dumper bed and the, um, and the mixer. I mean, it's, it's definitely one of the more, I mean, most of the trucks for spin tires are either military or, or just kind of like sport off-roaders. This is one of the uh, one of the few, um, I guess you'd say one, one of the few construction trucks or commercial trucks that is actually featured in the game. Now the suspension is actually very nicely tuned for off roading. I'll be honest, it's very nicely tuned for off roading. Way better than that um, than that patrol truck. Um, and the graphics of it are actually very nicely detailed as well. The mud um, gets on the truck and quite nicely. The mud gets on the truck nicely. The the actual uh, truck, uh, the, the cab bounces around quite a bit, and the suspension is nicely detailed. You have some nice travel in the suspension, and also, like I said before, you have the nice, uh, a nice turning radius with that uh, four-wheel steering up front. And also, you've got decent power. You do have decent power with this. I was, I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to have that much power because it was more meant to be um, kind of a construction truck. But it does have a decent amount of power, and it, and it puts it down well for off-roading purposes. It puts it down well, and... With the added weight of whatever attachment you decide to put on, I mean, the, the empty dumper or the dumper with gravel in it or even this mixer that I have on it now, it handles that weight quite well. I mean, it's not, it's obviously not like towing a trailer, but honestly, I would actually love a, uh, a version of this thing where you could tow trailers. That would be legit. Um, modding community, um, there's something for you if you guys get to it, if you guys want to do that. If anybody in the Spin Tires modding community is watching, I would love, would absolutely love a, um, a version of this 8x8 Actros um, with a trailer hookup. That would be, well, I say a, a trailer hookup, um, not a um, not a trailer hookup on the end, but an actual, like, uh, hookup for, like, gooseneck trailers and stuff. That would be legit if you guys could, um, if anybody from the uh, from the Spin Tires modding community could do that, that would be absolutely legit. Now, I'm going to try and take the same route that I did with the patrol, and I don't know how it's going to work out because this road is very narrow and very twisty and has a lot of trees, but we'll see. We'll see. We have a, we have some cement to deliver to um, to a project that's I guess you could say in the backwoods. And I've gone off. I've gone off already. I've gone off the road already. Let me turn off the diff lock for these really tight corners so we can get a little bit more steering angle. 
We're not having any... You don't have any trouble putting power down in this thing, really, ever. Just because of the fact that you've got so many contact patches um, with four axles and dualies in the back. So, again, no problem at all with, uh, with tire contact. Now, are we going to have enough steering angle? Nope. What are we... What are we... Oh, never mind. Tree. Tree. <laughs> Tree. It's really hard to see since it's so big. It's really hard to see where the next actual spot... Yeah, the next actual corner is. Which is why I just rammed into that boulder by a complete accident. Come on. Come on. Oh, dig, it, it was digging in a bit. Crap. Don't dig. Don't dig. Please. Thank you. Thank you. We're good. We're good to go. Now that we're actually into this field, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going to go for the, the hill climb because I'm honestly curious to see if this thing has enough power to not bog down on this hill climb. I mean, it's not too bad of a hill climb, but with the added weight of this mixer on the back, it might actually, it might actually slow this truck down quite a bit. I mean, slow it down. It's already slowing it down, actually. This is super steep, so it's slowing it down quite a bit. I don't know if it's going to get stuck and just start to spin. But we'll see, and also fitting over the top might be an interesting uh, experiment too. And if we can get this through that uh, that like that boulder field, that would be crazy. It's this thing is pulling better than the than the patrol did. That's crazy. Well, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Last bit, trying to put that power down. We got it in low and everything. Trying to put that power down. Last bit. Come on, Actros. Whoa, there you go. There you go. If this thing can conquer this boulder field, I'll be very, very, very impressed. Dude, it's doing so much better than that, that patrol, tr um, patrol competition truck. I say as it gets stuck. Um, in actually close to the same place that the patrol did, just not in the same way. Stop mating with the rock and back up. Please? Stop mating with the rock and back up. It's not going to back up. It's stuck. <laughs> it's completely stuck. Well, it kind of got them stuck in the same spot. They met their death in the exact same spot. They met their doom. So if you guys enjoyed this um, this mod review of the, um, of the Nissan Patrol tr uh, competition truck, as well as the Mercedes-Benz Actros, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.